Upgrade works to bring the outfield at the Albion Community Centre to international standard started in February. The project is being undertaken by a Trinidadian company, the same one that worked on the outfield at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. The top layer of the entire outfield will be removed and facilities for proper drainage will be installed and then the entire outfield, that's the outfield as well as the pitches, will be redone. Um, it is the hope that this, the outfield will be one comparable to the National Stadium Providence, not just in terms of the outfield being lush and, and, and beautiful, but of course the drainage will be on par with what obtains at National Stadium Providence. That is expected to take about six months and after that, uh, auto upgrades will be done to the facilities here at the Albion Community Centre ground. President of the Albion Community Centre, Vimen Walter, welcomed the investment by the government as it will expose not only cricketers of the club, but those across the county to a facility of the highest standard. Uh, the Burbage Cricket Board normally uh, would use the Albion ground uh, for their inter-county preparations and the coaching clinics, among other activities. Um, so having a facility uh, that is of international standard and uh, more so with a drainage system um, that will now be in place um, even when um, the weather is not so kind and I'm speaking here about the inclement weather it therefore means that um, within a, a short period of time or once you have, have some bit of sunshine um, the, the players can be out there uh, to, to, to practice or to be involved in, 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 in trial matches and, um, you know, get themselves uh, uh, prepared for um, uh, national and international uh, duties. Walter, who has been involved in cricket administration for decades, also hailed the construction of a spanking new stadium at Palmyra, noting that cricket specifically and sport in general stand to benefit significantly with these types of investments in the county. Throughout the length and breadth of the country, sporting facilities are being upgraded and this is a clear indication of the government's commitment towards the development of our human resources, more so our young people through sports. Apart from the Albion Community Centre ground, we in the ancient county of Barbies will also be having a brand new stadium which will be built at Palmyra. With these investments, more young people will be inclined to be involved in sports which undoubtedly will contribute tremendously in them not just becoming outstanding sportsmen and women, but also rounded individuals who can make valuable contributions to society. Similar projects, like the one at Albion, are being executed at Anna Regina in Region 2 and the Mackenzie Sports Club ground in Region 10.